Here's a quick demonstration of Screen's WinCaps subtitle file preparation software. And we'll start by creating a new file. We'll just give it a file name. The system prompts us for the program which contains the vocabulary information relevant to this particular program. And customer, which is a style template associated with this program. It will then prompt us for the media file to go with the program. We support MOV, MP4, AVI, WMV and this format of an MPEG-1. It then prompts us to create something called helper files, which contain data such as shot change information, the audio level and the presence of human speech patterns within the audio. This process takes a little bit of time. This five minute clip takes about 30 seconds on this demonstration. We can see this process is done and now we can start to do some subtitling. First of all, we'll just check the settings that we are working with. Some timing rules, so we have a reading speed of 180 and a gap of four frames between each subtitle. We also have some short change rules that are set and we'll just check the subtitles are white on black and positioned in the center. We'll play the clip jump ahead, find where we want the first subtitle to begin by listening to the program audio and press a single key on the keypad to snap the subtitles in time to that time. Bridge person can hold their breath for 40 seconds. Listen to the text. Shift and return creates a new line. The return key creates a new subtitle. OK, now we press the zero on the numeric keyboard to grab the in time of the subtitle. And you'll notice it also sets the out time for the preceding subtitle according to the rules which we set. Tanya Streeter can do it for over six minutes. It's just my thing. The process becomes fairly repetitive after that. Now once you have your text in, you can perform a series of checks against the rules we configured earlier on. Or indeed, you can replay the clip with a subtitle preview. And you can tell if the audio and the corresponding subtitle appear together. Tanya Streeter can do it for over six minutes. It's just my thing. I have this unique relationship with the ocean. I'm when you're finished, you can then export the clip in a variety of different formats, depending upon what your target client's needs may be. Various formats of STL, popular SRT format, Screen's PAC format, Kavina's 890 format, formats for digital cinema and some formats suited to non-linear editors, and Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro. for this short clip. Thank you for watching.